What's up everybody? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie Night. I hope everyone is staying safe out there and maybe binge watching some cool stuff and and uh, just, you know, staying in while we wait for uh, this uh, coronavirus situation to get worked out and just doing our part. Uh, the first thing I want to do is say thank you so much to everyone who took a look at my home theater tour uh, video. It, I really appreciate it. It means so much. And and uh, I had so much great conversation with people with some amazing suggestions on things that I could do in here and next steps. And we talked about, you know, acoustical tiling and all the cool uh, things that, that are were already kind of in my mind for phase two. But, you know, it's, it's an expensive thing to do a home theater space. And I got to do it in phases. But, but yeah, thank you to everyone who took a look at that video and, and shared their thoughts and comments and uh, we had some really, like I said, some great conversations. Uh, just I had just a few little things that I wanted to add to that video. I was kind of in a rush doing it, and and you know, there's a lot going on. I had a lot uh, on my mind, as I'm sure a lot of you do too. So I got a couple little things I just wanted to add to it. Um, and uh, uh, let me know what you think. And, and also, if you have a theater space and you've got that video anywhere, pictures or whatever, I would love to see it because I love the conversation. And if you like that conversation too, if you're talking about home theater and, and physical media and that kind of thing, please uh, subscribe and uh, like and share and definitely hit the notification bell so you, we can uh, stay in contact and you can see what's happening next and you know all the other things I've got coming up. Okay. So the first thing is, uh, you know, I was in a rush and I was talking to you about the Martin Logan speakers that I have. Um, all the speakers in the walls are Martin Logan, but these subwoofers are not. They're actually Dynamo subwoofers. If you're familiar with that brand, I love these things. Uh, when we first got them in, we had them set at 60% and it was literally rattling the whole house. They are amazing subs. Um, I think for the best balance for film, not music necessarily, but for film, we have them set at about 30%. Uh, and and they rock this room. Let me tell you, they're pretty great. Uh, has anyone used butt kickers, by the way? Um, so you can see we watched some movies here, so it's kind of messier now. We played some Mario Kart too. I'm curious about what the butt kicker situation is like under the seats. If you've used those or experienced them, let me know uh, your thoughts. And also on social media, I got some pretty funny comments in regard to the Kleenex here. So I have two cats, and I have three friends that are allergic to cats and they begged me to put Kleenex in here for them. Uh, you know, in reference to the jokes that were made, I think there are some things that you really don't need to see on a 140 inch screen. I'm just saying. I might be wrong about that, but you know, some things you don't need to see. Um, also, someone asked me in the comments, this is an interesting conversation again, about front speakers because uh, I guess I didn't make it clear that technically these are my front speakers and they are mounted in the wall at an angle. So they are in the wall, but the cone of the sound crosses all the seats the way we have it set up. Um, the second row center seat, this seat right here is the premium seat. All of the, the two front speakers are um, sort of, they, they, hit their cross they cross the streams as a, you know to use a ghostbusters term right here at this seat this is also dead center of the screen and of course you're right dead center of the center channel this is the premium seat when we um set this audio up we literally took tape measure old school and measured from each speaker to get the perfect settings for each one so another one last thing one really important thing that i wanted to to uh, bring up that no one did actually catch and, and I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't catch it myself. Sorry if this camera is too shaky for some of you guys. I had to apologize to someone in the previous video for that, but right now it's what I have to shoot with. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I called the room 7.2.2. That is not accurate because as you know, we talked about this. There are four of these speakers in the ceiling for Atmos. There's there's two there, and of course I can't get to them like this, but there's two more in front of it. That makes it 7.2.4 for the Atmos sound. So that is the proper, um, that is the proper uh, sound situation we have here. So I've been doing a bit of video work here, so it's a little bit messy. I apologize. I've got both 
some coffee going here from editing and also, you know, of course the Waterloo there. But I didn't talk to you too much about my actual interface for film. So most of my 4K Blu-rays are played in that Xbox One X that's right there. If I find some weird quirky situation where it's just not working right, I hit the, uh, the Philips 4K Blu-ray player that's there on top. I hate that 4K Blu-ray player, by the way. It's one of the early ones, um, so it's just the interface I don't like. Um, and when you eject discs, this whole front has to come down so that the, the disc can come out of the slot there. I just think that that's uh, clunky. Also below that, there's my DirecTV box for, for you know, I'm old school, got some DirecTV happening. Um, inside here I have also a Roku Premium for 4K uh, content uh, up there on the top. And, you know, I've got to switch over there and stuff like that. So that's really about all I had here. I just wanted to follow up with a few little small things about the home theater. And again, just to say thank you to everyone for uh, watching that previous video and sharing so many great comments and, and conversation. Because, you know, we all are, you know, are kind of, you know, quarantined up here. So it's great to just have some people that love this stuff as much as, as I do to talk with. Anyway, I guess that'll bring this video to an end. If you have any other questions or comments or whatever regarding the the home theater, please feel free to share those with me and, and I'll put at the end of this video a link to that home theater uh, part one video so you can catch that and, and uh, see everything that we discussed. I got a whole lot more coming. I've got some hoarded hoarding up videos where I picked up a, a lot of, of uh, 4K Blu-rays. I'm going to share those with you. And then we're going to do a memorabilia tour of this room. So I can kind of show you all the memorabilia that's scattered about. And a commenter asked me to do a spine tour of my library, and I'm going to be happy to do that too. So all of that's coming up. Uh, stay tuned. In the meantime, pull something cool off the shelf and remind your friends and family why physical media is the best way to watch uh, movies and TV. I'll talk to everybody soon.